the favorable condition of constitutionalism is multiple balance of power. Hmm, what is multiple balance of power? Multiple balance of power involving many different people in the state and it refers to the distribution of power capabilities of rival states or alliance. The first characteristic of balance of power is when one state or alliance increases its power or applies it more aggressively. This will increase the power in spawn by threatened states. The second characteristic is multiple balance of power can be a system in defense of power, where it can lead to the emergence of other and it can be ultimately lead to a network of alliances. The third one is the concept of balance of power. There are excessive power anywhere in the system which treat to the existence of the other unit and that most effective antidote of power is power. Balance of power where the state itself can counter any threat to their security by allying with other threatened states that is their rival and by increasing their military capabilities. Balance of power predicts that rapid changes in the international power and status, especially when one attempts by state to conquer or take a region, will cause a counterbalancing. The balancing process helps to maintain stability of relations between states, thus reduce the dispute between the state itself. A balance of power system can function effectively in two different ways. The first function is multiple states can form a balance of power when alliances are put. The second one is where two states can balance against each other. The first function is where the state are easily formed or broken on the basis of expediency regardless of values, religion, history, or form of government. There is an occasion where a single state plays a role as a balancer where the shifting is to support the opposition state or alliance that is the strongest. The second function is where it can balance against each other by matching their increases in military capability. For example, in the Cold War where the Soviet Union and United States both expanded their military arsenal to the balance against each other in order to form a stronger formation to take down the enemies. The weakness of balance of power is the difficulty of measuring power as the ultimately is state's power where it derives from the size of its land mass, population, and its level of technology.